Open started because there was an anniversary in Harlem, 750 years of city rights. Harlem was the main brewing city of Holland. And um, well, they said, well, if you want to celebrate your history, um, then you should look at your history. So you should acknowledge that you were a brewing city. And on the other hand, if you want to celebrate, beer is good for celebration. So with the first meeting they had, they said, well, there's a student who has a whole plan to create a pub brewery. Shall I ask him also for this project? Um, that was me, and that's how I got introduced into this Harlem 750 years of city rights and therefore the beginning of the open beer. With the Open, the idea was to do it for one year, so uh, just for the, the anniversary years. At the end of that year, we decided to continue. Um, so not just for the festive year, but to say, okay, we, we gave the city a present in the, the historic uh, Harlem beer, and it should be a pity if we take the present away after the birthday is gone. Um, so it took us a long time to find a, a suitable location that was big enough to combine brewing and uh, gastronomy. And we wanted to be where the public was, and that's the city center. And we started with uh, the Hoppen beer, which was a three grain beer because the oats were very specific in that and that those, those weren't used anymore. So when we started 25 years ago, everybody was like, oats, you know, can you even brew with that? So well, if they brewed with it in around 1500, we should be able to brew with it now. We all, always focused on multi-grain or different grains than just barley and wheat, with, which everybody was using already. So that became more or less our, our trademark. They stopped churching here in the 70s and that, that was quite a long time that it was empty and therefore also not really well maintained. So the, the roof was leaking, the, the windows were smashed, the foundation was rotten uh, and it became um, quite a, a, a big job to make it all well as it is now. the former city archaeologist. Uh, he said, well, they used to ship the uh, beer if they sold it outside the city in barrels of 112 liter. That's half a barrique. Um, and this beer, these beer barrels had the nickname Jopen. So we choose to uh, name it after the barrels that the beer was transported in in the, the late Middle Ages. And especially in the, the northeast of the country, uh, Jopen is a nickname for big boobies. And now you can question, like, okay, what was first? Most companies, and, and, and the Open especially, um, is not a one-man show. Lydia and my wife have her own job next to uh, what I was doing with the Open. Uh, that was the time that I said, okay, now it's becoming this big. So that's when, when Lydia stepped in and she took over uh, the sales part and um, I moved along more to production and the, uh, the, the installment of the brewery. And we, uh, we found a, a good uh, bar manager that does the whole part about the, the, the bar restaurant, which is good because that's uh, very hard to combine with brewery life or, or sales. In the old days, we had tall ships that went to the east and uh, had different beers aboard, amongst them durable scheepsbeer, so durable ship's beer, which was stronger in alcohol and higher hopped, so which was more like the equivalent of what we know as IPA uh, from Britain. And um, in those days, a lot of beer was brewed with not only barley, but also oats. So therefore our house IPA, Moinel IPA, is an oatmeal IPA. And it has something, you know, with the history of being a shipping country and, uh, beer aboard of the ships. If we want to be innovators and not copiers, then we, we have to stay sharp that we keep innovating. And so that's, and that starts with the product. So it starts with uh, ingredients, it starts with the way how we use things. It, it's also a reason why we um, I have a louder ton here in the, the church, but a 
a mesh filter in the, the, the second brew house because it gives us way more flexibility to use different ingredients with our uh, beers and therefore be more original with our beers. It's a way that you give meaning to your life and, it, and it's and therefore it's also the point that a lot of people say, well, yeah, but how many, you know, how many days a week are you working? How many hours do you make? You know, it's like, we don't count hours. You know, the same, the same accounts for Lydian, right? Uh, because you know, even even when we're free, you go to a bar that you know that's a beer bar, right? And and uh, and you want to try the uh, the local beers there. So it's never switched off. It's always it's always on because it's 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 part. It's me, yeah, and and us. You know, it's. Uh, and of course, if, if I would ever stop working with Jopen, that doesn't mean that there's no sense, in, uh, no meaning in life anymore. But it's, uh, it, is, it, it is what makes me happy and it is what, I, what I'm busy with each day. But it, but it's not work. Mm -hmm.